ज्ञानाजनाशलाकया चक्षरा मिलत तस्म श्री गुरु नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं गदा मह्यम दधाती स्वापदाक वंदेह श्री गुरो श्रीतापदकमल श्री गुरो वैष्णवश्च श्री रूप सगृजता सगणा रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवदूत वर्जना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधाकृष्ण पदगणा ललिता श्री विशक हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांता नमोस्तुते सप्त कांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी शवान सुते देवी प्रणमी हरि प्रिय वंचा कल्पतरुभ्यवा सिंधुभ्यी वचा बधिता पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शुसदी गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गंगायतृपात श्रीगुरांदनता परमानंद माधव श्री चंदनीश्वर नम विष्णुपताय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले नमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारण निर्विशेष शून्याद पश्चातधीशतारिणे हरे कृष्ण should we wait for some more time and <clears throat> devotees have not joined um <clears throat> so <clears throat> So Lord Chaitanya, <clears throat> so when he was actually when he was on his way to Vrindavan, I'm just a little bit unwinding. There's one thing I forgot to cover. He was constantly was reciting this verse from Shrimad Bhagavatam. Itam sa asna ye paratma nishtam. आध्यासी पूर्वतमर्षुभी अहम तरष्यामी दुरंत पारम तमो मुकुंदांग्रणी सेवर्स मुकुंद सेवना व्रता वन इज डिटर्मेंड वन इज One is determined to render service to Krishna, right? By body, mind, and life, it means, you know. So, the, what is the determination? Body and life, mind and life, dedicated to the Krishna. Problems will come, no problem, because my life is a meant for service to Krishna. You know, 
So Tridanda Sanyasi, body, mind and words. Vaishnava Sanyasi are Tridandis. Hmm? So Lord Chaitanya, he was, he was in this mood. And what is that? So Avanti Brahmana's verse is this, all the Sanyasis in Iskan every day, all the Sanyasis in Iskan every day, they recite this verse. What is that? Um, so I will, I will holding on to the lotus feet of Krishna, I will cross this insurmountable. Holding on to the lotus feet of Krishna, I will cross this insurmountable ocean of cycle of birth and death, the samsara. And I am not the first one doing it. So many sages in the past, they have done it. In Adhyasitam Purvatamayar Maharshabi. So, this human life is so rare. I have attained it, so I will use this human life to cross the cycle of birth and death and I'll attain the love of God. And this is not new. So many sages of them, they have done this. You know, they are my inspiration. Am Tarishnami Durantaparam. So this is this insurmountable. This ocean is what? It has no shores, very difficult. But what I will do? By holding on to the lotus feet. You know, Krishna's, you know, lotus feet. You no? Know? By rendering service to the lotus feet of Krishna, the cycle of birth and death. How will I serve? Body, mind, and words, body, mind, and the entire life dedicated to Krishna's lost You know? So, the few points I just want to add in the previous class says is uh, uh, Madhavendra Puri. Actually, I forgot to complete it actually. You know? So, Madhavendra Puri so received three times order from Krishna. Madhavendra Puri received order three times when he was in Govind Nakon, he was actually, uh, he was doing his sadhana. First time Krishna came in his dream, he gave him the pot of milk and gave him an order. What, what else a devotee wants? But an order from Krishna, an order from Guru, you know, Bhakti is not a bhakti is not a what do you call that? Mm. Sit in one corner and do what you want to do. No. Sadhaka stage we need guidance. But of course, Krishna, Krishna Madhavendra Puri is a Paramahamsa devotee. You know? Madhavendra Puri is a Paramahamsa devotee. So what happened? Krishna gave him a, so Krishna came in the dream and gave him an order. Madhavendra Puri, I am placed in this bushes. Krishna in the dream, Krishna took him by hand and showed him where he was present. Where he was present. And Madhavendra Puri, so you know, he retrieved Gopal following the dream. So he took the villagers and brought him and he installed Gopal. And every day he celebrated Anakut, Anakut festival. So different villagers, we discussed this, different villagers, every day they would bring rice, you know, milk, yogurt and different sweetmeats and everything, whatever they would bring. You know, they would cook and offer the big, you know, there was a big feast offered to Krishna. And Krishna is so hungry for so long, he would eat everything. And then it is distributed to everybody. Then there is a kirtan, there is a festival. Wow. And somebody came and they built the temple. And few Brahmanacharis came and joined full time. The worship was going on. Then the second time, Madhendra Puri received a dream. I mean, received an order. And the second time, Krishna came in the dream. Second time Krishna came in the dream, Madhavendra because he was stuck 
in the bushes for so many years. You are performing Abhishek from the waters of Govindakund and human waters. Still, this heat was not subsiding. Don't think Krishna is a stone. Krishna is not a stone. Pradhiman hitam is sakshant vradhyendra nandan. You are not a murti, but you are sakshant vradhyendra nandan. So, Madhendra Puri, what he did, you know, he second time he got the order. Second time he got the order, and what is that? Now you go to Nilachal, Malayaj Chandan, and and uh, and uh, bring sandalwood and apply. I mean, today maybe it is easy, but those days it was difficult. You know? And on his way, he came to Jamuna. Then there he saw, uh, there he saw the Gopinath. I mean, yesterday we discussed uh, the Gopinath, the, you know, something amazing Gopinath has done. What is that? Seeing the desire, Mother wanted to taste the kheer so that they would make it at, uh, at Govardhan for Gopal. Wow. Just the thought. Sa you know, sadhakas, today we are so trying to speak so well. But our mind, all the nonsense goes on. Our mind, all the nonsense goes on actually. But the real spirituality is all about, uh, real spirituality is all about uh, even controlling at the thought level. Or, you know, the worst thing, you know, the best thing is ignore. Just ignore. Ignore the thoughts because you are not the mind anyway. Let the mind propose whatever, you know, uh, whatever mind wants to propose. Just ignore. Hare Krishna. You are not the mind. So when we learn to ignore, that is great. But controlling the mind even at the thought level is even much better. So anyway, what is that? Term? And he said, Krishna stole the kir we discussed. Then Madhavendra Puri just by, th by this thought he got it. He felt himself so bad. I'm so fallen. How can I, how can I imagine eating it when it is even offered to Krishna? So a similar pastime with Sarasthi Thakur, Bhaksana Sarasthi Thakur. One day Bhagdino Thakur brought mangoes. And he was like a three, four year old child. And he said, I want to, that mangoes are mine, I'll eat it. Sarastragur, uh, he said that, he was a boy. And his father, Bhakti Nautagur, rebuked him, mildly chastised him. You know, how can you say that you know, when it is not even offered to Krishna? We don't eat boga, we eat only offering, prasad. Sarastragur took a vow, he never ate uh, mangoes. You know? He never can, never ate ripened mangoes. Whenever somebody would come, disciples would bring him mangoes, he would say, I am a, I'm a, I'm an offender. He never ate. You know, when devotees would bring nice mangoes, you know, the ripened mangoes, he never ate. But if you make, you know, what is that? Kacha mango, green mango, chutney. I heard.
card you would take, but not the ripened mangoes. Anyway, so what is that? Uh, so the thought itself, so he went to the far away marketplace, started crying all day. Wow. Then the priest, you know, you, you, we know that he got a priest, got up. When Krishna came in the dream of the priest, so Prabhupada makes a nice point here. So Krishna, so he went, this Pujari woke up, he took bath, he did Achaman, he went and not like, you know, you know, Krishna came and he went. Deity worship has to be done with so much sincerity. Deity worship has to be done with so much uh, sincerity. This is not a piece of marble, this is Krishna. As I said, Pratim Nahitum Nahitumi, Sakshat Vijendra Nanda Krishna. So anyway, what is that? Uh, hmm. So the priest, he he took the pot of sweet rice. He cleaned it in the night, the dead of the night, and he brought it out. Yes, it's, you know, uh, deity worship means punctuality and cleanliness. Then he came out and he started calling. Who is? Is there anybody? My name Madhavendra Puri. Krishna stole the sweet rice. But there, see, Madhavendra Puri came out, Prabhupada writes this point. Madhavendra Puri and this priest, they got the dream. Krishna came in the dream for both. Prabhupada says they are both on the same platform. But Madhavendra Puri is a sannyasi, Paramahamsa. For that reason, priest offered obeisances. Dandavat. You understand Priest offered obeisances for that reason. So, Prabhupada writes here, and uh, Jasura Krishna Skaraj Goswami says, in bhakti, bhakti is practiced in two ways Swadhyaya and Archana. What is that? Swadhyaya and Archana. So, we need knowledge for sure, no, no, no doubt. So, for that, we read scriptures. But we cannot understand Krishna by reading the scriptures. One cannot understand Krishna without being the lover of Krishna. So, we read the books to acquire knowledge, but we worship the deity, Archana. Um, you know, so deity worship we do, so that uh, we do the deity worship also. You know, so we read the scriptures, but we also... Uh, we read the, I mean, we do the archana, deity worship. The combination of both, that will bring, the combination of both will uh, uh, will bring, will bring us, will elevate us to the platform of love of God. And he broke, he ate the sweet rice. Krishna stole for him. He ate the sweet rice and, uh, <coughs> and what he did, and he broke into pieces and ate the piece of the clay pot. But I just want to tell this one thing. What is that? <clears throat> you know, sometimes worshipping only deity, if pot washing is there, that is as good as worshipping Krishna on the altar. If sweeping the temple is there, that is as good as worshipping Krishna on the altar. If you have the proper consciousness. All right. Reach Jagannath Puri by walking. So Madhavendra Puri, actually know what is that? Uh, um, so love, he was he became scared in the night, fear of fame. What happens in the morning? Everyone will come to know Krishna stole pot of kheer for Madhavendra Puri. Everyone will come to around me. They will respect me. For materialists, that is that is nectar. Because you're the center, your ego is the center. For devotees, Krishna is the center. Like they don't want any name for Krishna. They don't want any, sorry, they don't want a name for themselves. They don't want any fame for themselves. They want everything for Krishna. So what happened? Madhavendra Puri feared the fame. Saraswati Thakur called this fame. To become famous is like a boar dung, not in a, not in a pig stool. I'm talking to myself. Because everyone wants this. Everyone likes this. He likes this, she likes it, I like it, you like it. Everyone loves it. 
So imagine eating a stool. That is not just stool. Pig eats the stool, human stool. Then pig passes the its its stool. How does it look? You know, the boar is the worst. Uh, the boar is the worst species of the of the pigs, hogs. Hare Krishna. I mean, actually, I'm honest with you. I'm reminding myself so that please. Manasakshya, this, this verse is there where Raghunath Das Goswami. You know? So Madhavendra Puri, today, you know, people have, people maintain armies of, uh, um, armies to just to promote themselves. Uh, armies of people, actually. In a sense, you know, they have a big campaigning team. If they use charity, it'll, they make sure it will come in all the newspapers of the world. You know, so that by their charity they can control the governments. Madhavendra is not like that. He doesn't want any name and fame. Madhavendra Puri ran away. He doesn't want fame. He ran away. If I stay here for one more day in uh, in Ramuna, people would come to know Krishna personally stole for me, and you know I'll be worshipped. I'll be respected. I don't. I don't want. Then what do you want? Krishna to be respected. Krishna should become famous. In India, there are so many spiritual organizations. They're all named after the gurus who founded it. Srila Prabhupada did not want name for himself. That's why uh, our mission is not called Prabhupada mission. You know? What is our mission called? Prabhupada wanted Krishna's name to become famous. That's why it's called Hare Krishna mission. Actually, many people don't know Prabhupada. So they know our the nation is this con. You know? Or some people always say, 99% of nine people say they are Krishnas. They don't even say Iskon. Many people don't know Iskon also. What is the Krishnas? So, so Prabhupada wanted Krishna's name to become in Krishna's name to you know to become famous. Prabhupada wanted Krishna to become famous. When they come to temple, then they will come to know somebody sitting there that is Swami Prabhupada. Okay. Madhavendra Puri ran away. So he was so happy. We all look for an experience. Madhavendra Puri, this is what second second time. Krishna, you know, not only what is that, he, he gave him an order and Krishna stole for him. Wow, that love, the experience of love. Experiencing Krishna's causeless mercy. He was he was walking to Jagannath Puri, you know, and he was he stood, he fell, he laughed, he danced, he sang. That's a devotee. But though he did not want name and fame, it followed him. Before even he reached the Puri, you know, the reputation, his reputation reached Puri. The people of Puri came to know. People of Puri, they big, they know, they came to know about Madhavendra Puri, and they came to know that Krishna's personally stole for Madhavendra Puri, and they offered respect. Krishna's Garaj Goswami says, though pure devotee may not like this name and fame, ordained by providence. By Vidhata, the reputation will, will follow him. Pradishtara Sabhava, e Jagate Vidita, Yena Vanjatara Haya, Vidhata Nirmita. Even if you don't want it, by will of the providence, it will come to you. You know, good reputation follows a devotee. If you are a nice devotee, so if you have only desire to propagate Krishna's name and form and Krishna's, Krishna's, you know, if you want to make Krishna famous, Krishna will, you know, Krishna will not keep anything for himself. But one thing is there, when you become famous, you, you become the target of envy. People become envious of you. So people who are jealous, they turn against, turn against a reputed person. But if you don't desire any fame and name uh, out of humility, 
the same people when they see you don't want anything then uh, they will also they will give all the all the kinds of respect you know and consequently uh, you know you'll get your job done that's what madhavendra pur did he became so famous then what he did uh, he used it to collect the sandalwood and camphor how is that he collected uh, <clears throat> sandalwood and uh, camphor <clears throat> so when he was uh, you know when he was there <clears throat> um when he was there in puri what happened when he was there in puri so he decided when everyone is giving respect to him he wanted to run away from that but he why he could not run away his legs were bound by the order of gopi you know order of gopal chandan and camphor so he stayed there so when people were respecting him they then then said i got an order from gopal i need chandan and sandal please help me so then then this like you know india this is jagannath puri like 500 years ago little more than 500 years and they gave him a man power to collect chandan and when brahman went and uh, you know procured when brahman went and procured uh, mm, uh procured uh, camphor it's like a 230 kg of uh, camphor and 37 kg of sandalwood chandan so um and it's not easy is it easy very difficult to bring everything back but madhendrapur has only one thing what is it one thing i can do anything for krishna wow i can do anything for krishna Prabhupad was in the last one year. Prabhupad didn't eat. So what was Prabhupad's statement? Prabhupad became a little bit all right. Prabhupad said, "Take me to London." Prabhupad said, "Doctor is Prabhupad. Doctor is telling you should not move." Prabhupad said, "It's better to die in the battlefield. It is better to die in the battlefield." Prabhupad went to London actually. That's where Prabhupad became very sick. And the last day, Prabhu said, "Take me to Gordon for a cram." Doctor is telling. So doctor said, "He Prabhu cannot make it." Prabhu said, "It's amazing leaving the body during Gordon for a cram." There was requested. There was actually a big uh, uh, discussion between devotees. Big devotees became two, you know, two groups. One group is telling Prabhu. no guru's order we should do it some people said you know it is not uh, mm, no no doctor telling you shouldn't make it but they took prabhupad murti actually later and prabhupad left you know so that much driven they gave him they gave him and they gave him sandalwood they gave him chandan and uh, and what is that they gave him papers again he came to ramana and he came to ramana he saw gopinath he sang and danced and the priest saw him he gave him recognized him this is the one and gained seat rise and that's when He had the third dream. Krishna said, "Madhavendra Puri, you know Krishna knew how difficult it is. These are all the kingdoms run by Muslims, and they have no faith. On the top of it, there were decoys, 
and chandan is costly in those days even these days also so krishna you know so gopal came in the dream and said madhavendra puri you offer the chandan to gopinath i am not different from gopinath you know so you offer it so you offer it and uh, if you offer to him if you apply chandan to gopinath i am not different from gopinath so i may get that wow so so then you know he told the devotees to grind the chandan and every day and they would apply this on the body of gopinath hare krishna can you imagine grinding 37 kg of chandan and uh, 230 kg of camphor they applied and madhavendra personally applied on the body of krishna wow you know so lord chaitanya was recollecting this he was so happy <laughs> can you imagine krishna is so happy you know so lord lord chaitanya was praising madhavendra puri devotion actually in after chandan he applied chandan once it is done everything is the you know the pulp was applied everything is done and krishna told you know that's it you know don't uh, you apply everything here it's, it's applied but then you know rimna is not so far from puri so chaturmasya started so he came back to puri and he stayed entire chaturmasya in puri madhavendra puri so lord chaitanya was telling this whole story and he praised the past time he praised his qualities and you know lord chaitanya personally relished we should also relish the glory of the glory of devotees how wonderful is this devotee amazing we make actually we make progress when we glorify devotees to glorify devotees and lord chaitanya said ask nityananda prabhu nityananda prabhu is there anyone as fortunate as as fortunate as as madhavendra puri krishna appeared to him and offered him milk three times the lord ordered him in the dream krishna as gopal accepted his service you know abish is abhishek in govardhan his offerings in govardhan then uh, krishna himself you know gave him the service of uh, he ordered him to bring a chandan such a difficult service it was a test it was a test and gopinath gopinath krishna personally stole sweet rice for him and uh, uh madhavendra puri applied personally you know he went and brought the sandalwood and applied it uh, the ground sandalwood he applied on the body of gopinath personally mahadaya maya prabhu bhakta bhakta vatsala chandana pari bhakta shram karile safala you know so so large that that there is a wonderful relation between krishna and his devotees you know um krishna gives instructions to his devotees and he and you test the devotees and he, you know and he accepts the service from these devotees and uh, and what is madhavendra puri prema parakashta is you know he has the culmination of bhakti in madhavendra puri exhibited all his activities are very uncommon you know if you know the mood and the qualities of madhavendra puri you will be stuck with wonder puri ra prema para kashta karaha vichara alokika premi chitta lage he chamutkara you know so if you if you meditate on this madhavendra puri you know prema para kashta you know prema para kashta what is why prema pre, the culmination of the bhakti prema para kashta and if you really analyze it you will stuck with wonder because uh, madhavendra puri is ready to do anything and everything for uh, 
Gopal. What is Gopal? So this is the mood that is followed in our sampradaya. What is the mood? Feeling separation from Krishna personally and externally engaging in Krishna's service to fulfill his mission. You know, personally feel separation from Krishna and externally preaching and doing service, engaging in engaging oneself in Krishna's service. This is the if we do together, that is that will constitute the best example of love of Krishna. And now that you know, don't do service anything. Only one person went to Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada I chanted 64 rounds. Prabhupada said, What service you did? We need to chant our rounds, we need to do our service. But if you do only service and don't chant, problem. So we need to chant our rounds, we need to do service. So we need to respect devotees. Mrs. Krishna means devotees. Sarva devotees. Sarva Krishna. Chant is holy name. And very important, uh, preaching. You know, Mother Hadani, she did that. I asked Mother Hadani's husband. He said, my wife, when somebody would come, she would cook. Uh, sorry, uh, she cooks, she would cook for Krishna. She would, she would do arti for Krishna. She would dress Jagannath Balda Sudra I mean, and Gaurnath also. And uh, then uh, uh, she personally cooks for Krishna and she would make offering to Krishna. And when somebody comes, uh, she would tell, she would talk to them about Krishna. And he looked at me and said, uh, what can I tell you? She's crazy for Krishna. <laughs> Amazing. She's crazy for Krishna. What doesn't matter, what really matters is how long we live. No. What matters is what is the quality of our life? Living like a crow, like hundreds of years or like a swan, like six months. You know, better to live. Quality of life is important. Quantity is also important if quality is there. So we rounds are important. But quality rounds are more important. Put our heart there. You know? So, why Madhavendra Puri? What is special? Agnyamrita is the nectar of orders from Krishna. He traveled thousands of miles. And another great thing, Ayachita Vrti will not beg for him anybody. Sanyasi, he will not beg. If food will come, he will take it. If not, he will not. Wow, what a, what a faith. Okay, so if food didn't come, Krishna doesn't want me to eat. Food came, Krishna wants me to eat. And he carried this load, so 37 kgs and 230 kgs of camphor and uh, chandan. He carried this loads. Carried this loads. That is his happiness. What is his only happiness? What is his only enjoyment? Facing problems for Krishna. Actually, in the toll, the toll officer saw. As soon as it is Chandan, they seized it. They stopped him. No. Krishna consciousness is never easy anytime. They took the Chandan, they, they, they took the uh, camphor, Karpur, and they seized it. Then he took the papers and showed them. The release papers. Then they left him. So the point is, he was not afraid. You know, he was not afraid. His only happiness was carrying Chandan. His only enjoyment was carrying Chandan. He did not care for the inconveniences, personal inconveniences, bodily inconveniences. Hare Krishna. This is the natural result of intense love of God. What is the difference between a beginner devotee and a mature devotee? Pragada Premira Yai Swabhava Chara Nija Dukkha Vigna Dira Nakare Vichara So Nija Dukkha Vigna Dira You know, Vigna, any obstacles or some suffering? So what is the nature of love? Pragada Premira Yai Swabhava Chara Nija Dukkha Vigna Dira 
न करे बिचारा डेवोडी डजेंट केयर what property no ran of was ever done 70 year old man to heart attack sea sickness property diabetes wow and western disciples they don't understand it's so difficult for them to understand after when they then they became devotees so difficult to keep them together did proper give it up you know so what is the natural result of intense love of god devotee doesn't care the devotee doesn't care the personal inconveniences inconveniences so krishna wanted to show you know you know how intensely madhavendra puri loved krishna krishna wanted to reveal this krishna wanted to reveal this to the world how intensely that madhavendra puri loved him so that's why krishna it appears you know they are krishna is in troubles no and keep krishna puts you to it krishna puts you through it that is for a beginner but mature devotees krishna only shows the world how much this devotee loved and how much they did not care the inconveniences and krishna actually you know he tested his intense love by sending madhavendra puri thousands of miles is easy there were tigers it's all jungles decoys tigers and lions so many wild animals you know hare krishna so when madhavendra puri did it krishna became merciful you know when madhavendra puri did it krishna became very merciful yeah. so what are the characteristics of madhavendra puri how come he received the he became the recipient of mercy of krishna first one parama virakta what is that parama virakta completely renounced completely renounced he doesn't want anything from this world including name and fame arakshan and always silent mouni he never talked anything but krishna most of the time he would, he would not talk but when he would found some when he would find somebody krishna only mahaprabhu ra bhakta grer vairagya pradhan Lord Chaitanya bestow. If you are sincere, Lord Chaitanya would bestow renunciation. Because a devotee realizes, not just understands. Nothing will come with me. Nobody will come with me. This world I have come only for my purification and to awaken that love of God through Shravana and Kirtana and the rest of the bhakti process. And when we understand this, we disconnect ourselves from this world. We will be, we will live with this world, but we will not be in this world. we stay in this world we stay in this world. i mean we are present in this world but we are not absorbed in this activities of this world uninterested in everything material sarvatra udasina are interested so empowerment doesn't come just like that easily real spirituality is all about uh, look into your heart I mean, I'm talking to myself. I don't need my Lord. Please remove. Please remove. Oh, holy name! Please remove. These are the birth out of birth. They are separating me from you. Separating me from your service, dear Lord, sweet Krishna. Please remove today. This greed, anger, envy, pride, lust. Come, crow the lobe, Muhammad, what's the come? Adi na, alida kadita na, duri deshish. That verse is there. You know. This how long can I serve you? Birth after birth, I have served you. Lust, or greed, or anger, or envy, and you people are not letting me go. You are still want me to serve more and more. Tongue is serving, telling me more and more. Belly is telling more and more. Other organs are telling more and more. Please allow me to serve my master Krishna, but not you. 
So that's why real bhakti means a detachment from everything that is material. Rahetako one etako sudha hari bole tako. Sukha dukkha. Nam hari bole gai gaur madhu swari. It doesn't matter, you know, when somebody is single or, you know, like it's full time or married, everyone is full time. But uh, one has to be thoroughly Krishna conscious. And what is the fourth quality? Without a companion. He never took any servant with him. Why? He was alone all the time. Feared for talking mundane things. If two people are there, we talk. That is worse. He didn't talk. Alone. Gramya Vartha Bhaya Dhitiya Sanghi Hina Sometimes two people, hey, let us stand together. They do one round. And then they stop. You know what happened, you know? What happened? Then they, the news starts, right? <laughs> so they chant for, and they, they talk for 10 minutes. Hey, kar, kar, jab kar. And they chant, again one round. You know what happened? Did you know this? What? Another half an hour. And then realize after one hour, we did only two rounds. So, this tongue is very powerful. Gramya Kada. Gramya Katha. So, for that reason, he avoided another person's association. No. Alone all the time. Amazing, right? So, Parma Virakta completely renounced. Second thing is always silent mauni. Uninterested in everything material. Sarutra Udasina and without a companion. Hina Dvitiya Sangahina. For the fear of a loose talk. Wow. And what he did? In, his, in the last life, just set an example. He exhibited this, you know. He became an invalid you know, in his last days of life. And he would intensely chant this one, this one verse. Aydina dayardrana dahi mudra natha katha valokya se hrudayam kadalokya kataram daita brahmya se kim karomyaham Oh! My Lord, oh merciful Master, oh Master of Mathura, Mathranada. When shall I see you again? When shall I see you again? Because of my not seeing you, my agitated heart has become unsteady. Because of not seeing you, my, my heart has become unsteady. What shall I do now? What shall I do? Kim karom yaham. He would constantly chant, Aidi anadai ardranada he mudra anada kada loki se hudim de tada loki kataram daita brahmya se kim karom yaham. Radharani recited this verse when Krishna left for Mathura saying he'll come back in three days and he didn't come he didn't come after three days. Wow. You know, actually this, so the meaning of this verse, Radharani knows, because Lord Chaitanya is not different from Nanda, Radha and Krishna, Lord Chaitanya knows, but the another person who knows the meaning of this verse is Madhya. Amazing. Right? So, <clears throat> uh, so, no, no, that's why you know our sampradaya. Our sampradaya um, takes us to the pinnacle of bhakti. You know, takes us to the pinnacle of bhakti. There is nothing higher than that. So, this, uh, the real Madhvendra Puri is a seed of conjugal love. The revealer of conjugal love. And Lord Chaitanya, when he exhibited, when he wrote this, when he 
we heard this verse aidina dayardana ayate he mutrana you know and lord chaitanya heard this in he fell down he became unconscious when he meditated on this verse I mean, Lord Nityananda Roo took him on his lap. And Lord Chaitanya got up. He started crying. He was exhibiting all these ecstatic symptoms. He ran. You know? He made so many noises. He laughed. He cried. And he danced and he sang. And actually... You know, this is the feeling of separation of Radharani from Krishna. So, Lord Jaydhan said, Aidina, Aidina. You know, he didn't say more than that. Aidina, Aidina. You know, when he was telling Aidina, Aidina, he was like, Trembling. He was perspiring the sweat from his body. Tears were flowing from his eyes and he was shocked sometimes and his entire body you know, the last this luster totally disappeared. Why Krishna doesn't come? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? That's why in India, Lord Chaitanya is called Vulcan of Love. Some people don't know him as Krishna. They consider him as, you know, saint. Oh, Lord Chaitanya, Vulcan of Love. Amazing. You know, so he was so sad. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? And the blast of memory and sometimes joy and pride, you know, contradictory, you know, uh, mutually controversial, mutually contradictory feelings, and again humble. All these ashta satyikaras, they are satyikaras, they are visible on Lord Chaitanya's body. You know. They were visible on his body. So my point is, there is a lot. You have to go very far. You know, time is short. Our heart is filled with all the impurities. So actually, this is one of the reasons I just want to cover this. You know, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Mm. We do not know what will happen to us after leaving this body. You know? The, the verse Sarodharman Paratyadja is only is only of course it's in the sense of Bhagavad Gita but there is much beyond that. Especially, you know, Bhagavatam is when you consider Bhagavatam as postgraduate, you know, it's like masters. Uh, then Chaitanya Chaitanya is PhD. And these are very intense. You know, so that's why when we chant our rounds, we have to become very sincere and serious, understanding this is the only thing that is going to come with me. Make Krishna as the goal and the priority, the beginning, the middle and the end. And that's the reality. Right? Srila Prabhupada, the compassionate Acharya, he has a treasure. He has a treasure of Lord Chaitanya gave him, bestowed him the Panchatattva. You know, gave it to him wholesale. And as Lord Chaitanya's representative, he traveled tirelessly all over the world trying to give it to each and everyone, not seeing whether they're qualified or disqualified because everyone is disqualified. Anyway, we are all disqualified. 
and none of us knew one day before coming to krishna consciousness we'll come to krishna consciousness and uh, and uh, it'll change our life causeless mercy you know if he becomes if he understand that sadhaka has to keep his weaknesses away he has to raise above the weaknesses and sadhaka has to you know give up the weaknesses pray to krishna for the strength and become serious today not not tomorrow will not come wonder my heart shamdas prabhu you know he just lectured on uh, he gave a lecture on uh, surrender to krishna he spoke on saranagate and somebody said uh, somebody asked him to somebody now will take you to pune for giving lecture he came to india he came to india he came to mumbai he gave a lecture in mumbai and he spoke on uh, krishna ke sharanam you know Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama Sarva Dharma Anu Paritya Javars and that day somebody was driving him on a just a motor what is that it's a motor vehicle met with an accident and died you know it came to my mind you know when I was talking about this so you know I got to my, my, by my good fortune I saw him and my point to you my point to you people i know they were is please serious quality not just quantity proper said we want one moon not ten not few stars you know entire bhagavatam is filled with all these wonderful examples of devotees and we just finished nursing each other this we are actually in fakha prahla what a beauty ha huh? and lord jadani and gadar band they relished reciting reading his story dhruva hare krishna you know so so bodily consciousness is, is a disease we are not this body and if we have all these impurities it is a disease and we are what a diseased pers- person a diseased person cannot be happy if he is happy is crazy he or she of course ha huh? so do you see any diseased person being happy no so we should become serious today what a personality madhavendra priya you know he attained the perfection of life and this life what is disciples advaita acharya are the stalker oh, wow ishwara puri parmananda puri brahmananda bharat you know parand parmananda puri you know who else Oh. Mm. I can also pursue the. There are so six or seven more, you know, puri uh, names there. You know, their names, you know, mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. They are all very, very great devotees. Guru infuses the love, infuses the potency in the heart of his disciple when he finds his disciple sincere. Right? So this Lord Chaitanya never, you know, this Aidiina verse, Aidiina, Aidiina. That's what he came to experience in this world for. Experience on the bow. In this world, this uncovered the doors of prema. Aidiina, Aidiina. You know. 
So let us become serious today. Chant our rounds sincerely. You know, increase the rounds if time is there. And take every obstacle as Krishna's mercy and become serious. Then Krishna will give more and more revelation. We come alone, we go alone, we don't doing anything. So there is nothing we lose here in this world anyway. Right? That's where renunciation. But for renunciation to happen, we need to be strongly attached to Krishna. You know? So anyway, we'll end it here. Thank you very much. If I've spoken anything wrong, do excuse me as your humble servant. But very grateful for your patient audience. You know, I want to make one point actually. And the point I want to make is uh, it is taking a lot of time from me. And uh, I have a question for all of you. Thank God some people are there. Uh, I cannot do this every day, Monday to Friday. So there are so many services in the temple and uh, mm, it is taking... Uh, <clears throat> mm, so, Kadam Kandru is telling, you know, three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or, uh, or I can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which day you want, you know? Um, uh, I can do, yes, it's, I have other services also, so I can do only three days. Initially, I thought weekends, but, you know, weekends, Mother Malti class is there. Um, so you want alternate days, I can do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I agreed for that. And I can do Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days. I can do three days a week. Which one you want, you know? Uh, uh, I can do only three days. <clears throat> Maybe in future I can do only Saturday, Sunday, when, when the epidemic is, on this, what is it, when this, uh, this, and that many people, everyone, you know, what is that? Uh, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, like when, when this is, the lockdown is lifted. Uh, okay, somebody said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm fine with that. I can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know? Or you want me to do uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I can do that also. Please reply. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is okay with me, actually. You know? Three consecutive days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, two people, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, Okay, what I will do, I'll do only, only two people said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is good. And Ajay Guru was telling Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days we will do. Then uh, next will be next week. That it becomes easy. I'm very, I'm a fallen condition. So thank you for coming and, uh, you know, encouraging me. Uh, I can do only three days. So we will continue this uh, on Monday, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then, uh, uh, then next Monday later. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Shila Prabhupada. Ki Jai will end it. You know, Dandu Tarimu.